so here I'm going to show you how to set up a task for Walmart. Walmart is fairly easy. Um, there's multiple ways you can set up as far as what do you want to cook for? Do you want to cook uh, third party items or do you want to just cook Walmart only items? So basically you want to start by creating a task. You want to click select site and you want to scroll to Walmart. Now you want to click uh, into your product URL. So I already have my product URL preset. So I'm going to take this link right here. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to paste it. This is a Nintendo Switch. My max price I want to pay for the Nintendo Switch. Let's just say, for example, I'm going to use 500. I want to buy one. And I select my profile. I add tabs. Boom. So as you can see, we have our Walmart product. Uh, we have our task. It's ready. We can just play, press play, and run it. But me personally, I only want to buy this product from Walmart. So I will go to the settings. And as you can see, only Walmart. That is a setting that allows you to only purchase from Walmart because Walmart allows third parties to sell on Walmart, which they increase the price. So as you can see, if we scroll back inside of the Walmart, you can see a Nintendo Switch is going, is being resold by a third party seller, which is NCS, we record. They're selling this product on the Walmart website for $405, opposed to Walmart themselves, they sell an item for $299. So, you want to have only Walmart enabled, and this will block out all third-party sellers. And here you have your task, and when you press play, it's basically, it's going to load the item, and it's going to tell you it's waiting for a restock. Because um, the Nintendo Switch is in stock, but it's in stock by a third party. It's not in stock by Walmart itself. So since it's not in stock by Walmart itself, it's going to run and just say waiting for a restock. And that's how you run your Walmart task.